How many of you have ever watched a gameplay trailer in the past and were just blown away by not only the graphics, but also maybe the gameplay that you've been seeing there? And you thought to yourself, bro, I can't wait to play the video game. Mm, I can't wait. How many of you have ever thought about that? And this is exactly what Asmon God has been talking about in his latest video. How many of you in the past couple of years have seen a trailer for a video game that got you incredibly excited? It features, you know, these wide vast environments these landscapes that are just so detailed with grass that's flowing in the wind trees that are photorealistic and there's a cutaway image of a cave with like an opening and there's light coming from the opening and it looks just like it would in real life and it's like wow this game must be so amazing and so incredible and then about two minutes and 40 seconds into the trailer the developer accidentally showed some gameplay and it looks basically like something that would be uh well it wouldn't be good enough for superman 64 okay uh you're looking at basically the most bottom of the barrel basic combat that they probably bought the combat pack from the unreal store well to be fair this one probably came for free and this is the kind of issue that I'm talking about. I'm talking about these video games that look like these amazing, incredible, groundbreaking games, but are in fact only tech demos for Unreal 5. And so one of the points that I've also really noticed, and I've noticed this quite a bit, is the fact that with a lot of these games, there is almost a 0% focus on gameplay. And for me, in a trailer for a video game, um... I'm going to care about the game. I'm not going to care about how nice the trees look. Or I mean, these are nice. It's great. It's good. I, I like that. If the graphics are great, then that makes the game better. But I'm sorry, but video game with good graphics isn't going to get me to play it. So essentially what he's saying, and he goes into much detail later on on what he means exactly, he's saying that there's a bunch of trailers, hype trailers, and oftentimes these have been CGI trailers as well, but not only those, also gameplay trailers. They feature something that is not complete or gives the impression of a game that has already been in development for several years and is very close to be finished. However... That is oftentimes not true, but it goes even deeper. So I'm going to show you a trailer right now, and I want you to be honest. Do you think that this trailer is good? And do you think that this is a game that is close to being finished? Would you be excited for such a game?
Wanna buy the game yet? Hmm? Did it get you hyped for some zombie apocalypse running? Hmm? Some gameplay against other players in the zombie apocalypse? Where have I seen that before? Hmm. Now, please, do me a favor and follow Crimson, the original creator of this trailer, the day after. I feel kind of terrible for taking this very long and awesome trailer and cutting it into terrible pieces. It is his original work, so please do support him. He did an amazing job of showcasing exactly what the day before did. But not only that, I'm pretty sure many of you are aware that this trailer was made in Unreal Engine. The reason for that is simple. Unreal Engine allows you to make very high fidelity graphics very easily and then you can just stitch together a bunch of scenes and make it look pretty. And this is what Asmon Gold is saying, that a bunch of game developers that are not really game developers are making these trailers or videos and then supplementing those with a little bit of gameplay. But what you have seen here, unfortunately, goes a bit deeper because what I've shown you in the trailer is mostly gameplay. There's not a single video cutscene. Now you could turn this into a video, but it is just gameplay. But there's the problem. You, you can be fooled so easily with just gameplay that looks polished, done, and like you have 90% of the game already there. You just need to add maybe some, I don't know, another city, some other city, connections between the cities, boom, done, right? That's not true. Anybody could technically go in the engine uh, with experience, of course, uh, with a little bit of money and with some time, they can whip up a trailer and if they really wanted to do it in a malicious way, they could, in theory, take people's money uh, even though there's no actual game there. Instead, they're just using it as marketing material and that's it. And that is true. Anyone could potentially do something like this with obviously enough experience which can be taught over time. But how about we take a look at the trailer that we just watched the day after dissecting every single section of the trailer to show what's actually behind the curtain. Additionally, something really important that people might have not caught on this is not a working game. This doesn't work. It's not a fully working game. There is a ton of things that are done halfway to make it seem like it works visually, but it doesn't. There's many things that the Unreal Engine will lift off your shoulders when you're making a game. Animations, combat systems, mostly everything you can get pre-made. It's not gonna be perfect, but for a trailer where you show specific things, you have the control and the viewer will be fooled by you, obviously. Now, I'm not saying that everyone is doing that. I have to stress this enough. But I just want to show you exactly what it means or what it looks like behind the scenes. And for that, how about we take a look at the level design from the trailer. What it actually looks like if you turn your camera just a slight bit to the left or a slight bit to the right. Hmm? Firstly, and I think the thing that is the funniest, is this city is essentially a movie set. Uh, what you see is what you get. Anything beyond that is nothing. In fact, it's nothing to the point where the beginning of the trailer is in an alleyway. But if you were to turn around, there's nothing. Nothing is there. There's no city. It's just a blank set, just like you would expect from a movie set, right? What you see is what you get. And this was a very important thing that I wanted to really push for in this parody. I didn't like the only thing that actually works funny enough is the combat. That is the closest thing that would actually be close to an actual game, albeit there's no depth to it. It's not very interesting. There's some cool parts to it, but you know, whatever. The rest of the game is extremely faked. So the movie set, if you were to continue down this street, there's nothing around here. It's like, oh, hey, it's empty. But then you go beyond the truck and it's an empty street. There's no more of the apocalyptic mood or anything like that. In fact, a lot of the buildings are low poly. They're basically just flat meshes. So a lot of it is like a movie set, uh, which is one of the funny things that I really wanted to point out. So th there were a few people that wanted to explore the city, but there's really nothing there. Uh, there's just little parts. Like if you were to go here, there's basically nothing. There's, there's no props. If I were to go beyond this blockade, uh, there's nothing, nothing here. Although I probably should have made some stuff that would have been better to fake. We go past this alleyway here that we cross through in the trailer and there's nothing across here. Um, there's nothing behind this truck. In fact, there's a zombie there, which I don't remember. I only focused most of the detail on the places where the player actually goes. You can see across the street, this is where we run away from the zombies. There's nothing on the left and right. And this is perfect because it's during the blizzard. So we can kind of hide those details. So it's extremely important to, to know that it, this was never a fully working game. <laughs>
<laughs> you think this is it? Oh, it's going to get much better. Just wait. Next thing on the table, how about we talk about the UI? Hmm? That's gotta be working, right? <laughs> Just wait. So let's say we wanted to talk about some of the gameplay mechanics. This UI is actually mostly fake. Um, these buttons don't work. They don't go anywhere. This equipment inventory doesn't actually work. These are just buttons that don't do anything. They just hover over. Uh, in fact, the other players that have a different player model, uh, say like this, character model two, which was our, our teammate uh, who has a broken jaw, as you can tell, still shows the primary player character, the server. Uh, <laughs> so there's a lot of things that I didn't really work on because you, nobody would see it. And there's a few things that are working, um, right? Like some of the doors and stuff like that work. Uh, the looting technically works, kind of, um, but it is all like pre-placed. So all of the little items that we pick up throughout the trailer is all pre-placed. That's just going to show how much of this is all kind of built for the purpose of marketing material. Um, and if somebody wanted to do this maliciously, if they put even a little bit more time into this and really like refined the visuals and stuff, because this isn't the most perfect looking thing in the world. Um, but if they really wanted to take the time, they could do that and they could create a whole like fake website and everything. No, I'm not saying that everything in these trailers is fake or that they do this maliciously and the day before did this maliciously. Actually, they didn't have any Kickstarter. They didn't ask for any funding. I think and they gave back the money, they failed. But I think what they did wrong was they created way too much hype for the game. And why is that bad? Well, if you create this much hype and you are inexperienced, you are delivering such a trailer and then you turn around and there's nothing and you go back a few alleyways and there's also nothing, you basically have this tiny thing, this tiny thing, and you expect to make a fully game out of this with all of these features in this entire grand world that people are expecting out of you you are setting yourself up for failure and you misuse the trust of your loyal community that you built over time and this is problematic because making games is not as easy as these trailers make it look like uh this zombie right here is actually not real either this is just an animation that's being played with a sound effect, it's not an actual zombie. Um, and then once I cross a threshold in this building, it will spawn zombies right here. They'll start roaming around and then that zombie's deleted. So that just goes to show even more, you know, you might think, oh, it's a behavior thing where, you know, zombies ended up coming over here. Maybe they heard noise, but in reality, it's just, there's a box like right here that will spawn the zombies if I cross over this threshold right here. You can see in the corner, overlap trigger box, you can start hearing the zombies. And then the, the snow as well as a part of that overlap box. Additionally, there's overlap boxes here that kind of set the weather and do all this kind of good stuff. Everything in here is essentially faked. This trigger box will trigger just regular snow. And then there's another trigger box around here that will start triggering the blizzard. What the problem with this is, is that it creates a false sense of polish and gameplay features that you would expect from the full game. So it's... It sets the bar up very high from the very outlet from the get-go. And it's also a performance thing. I don't think it is really. I think it's mostly a an expect a expectation thing. Uh, people get expectations from this. They see this game. They see like, oh man, they already have all of this. And there's literally people that believe that, right? And then they expect the same quality throughout the entire game because, well, they had this five years ago. How can they not have this in the game? They should have this already, right? If they have this already, it's going to take a couple more years, maybe, you know, one, two years until it's done. But they literally have nothing. They don't have a single system in the game. That's a problem, you know? It's not a single system that actually works. And this type of stuff right here, when they create an open uh, open world game, or let's say an MMORPG, what they are creating here is a scripted event. But in an MMORPG, this event has to be part of let's say, a pool of events that can happen randomly in random places, and these places need to make sense, right? And so basically they're creating themselves like this huge backlog of features with this little trailer that is almost impossible to get done in a meaningful amount of time. And because it's not just that, oh yeah, he walked into this door, but okay, 
this type of event should happen in multiple places, right? It shouldn't only happen in this one place. So by now, you should hopefully be aware of the fact that we have this shell of a game, which is not really a game, that already creates all of these expectations and systems to be in place while there's literally nothing. And the job of a game developer is to create these systems so that they make sense. And we have not even talked about a multiplayer yet. The gameplay trailer showed some multiplayer action. And this is an entire thing. For those of you who have ever done any programming or any type of networking code, thank God I haven't, but any person that I've talked to in the past told me how much of an annoying piece of fucking shit this is to make. Okay? And so we already have so much that we need to do. And why is it so much? Let me tell you. About the UI, it's the best example. Let's say we have this UI, you know, it has, I don't I think it was the helmets, the torso, and I think it was the leggings or the, the weapon, right? Three slots, and then maybe some accessories. Five slots, let's say that. What if we want to have another one? And what if this slot later gets extended to another, another slot? Right now the UI looks clean, after that it looks like garbage. Or we have to add in some functionality that affects the other slots. And we have to redesign the entire UI and the system behind the UI. And that oftentimes takes so much time. And why does this happen? Well, because your game, it's like a project. You begin with an idea and as you evaluate and test out these ideas, it grows. And as it grows, some of the stuff that you did makes no longer sense. You toss it out, it's garbage. Puss off! And then some of the other stuff that you do, you, it's like, come on, this is great, right? And you add it into your project. But adding new stuff in that you didn't think you needed before now creates this problem that wasn't there before. And you have to deal with this so many times and that is why it takes so long this process takes a long time and that's why you have bugs and many other things but this is one reason and again we are not even talking about multiplayer yet which by the way <laughs> it's also totally fake in the trailer another thing that i wanted to point out is that a lot of the gameplay mechanics actually don't 100 percent work and the main reasoning for that is because i got lazy and because i found it kind of funny so the server could actually see other clients doing things properly. No problem, right? Because that was the whole point. I wanted that to be important. However, if a client looks at the server doing something or looks at another client doing something, it'll look a bit like this. <laughs> and that's just, you know, one example of things that are broken. Uh, in fact, the client actually never sees the server throw the glass bottle at the car. They don't ever see any of that. In fact, all they see is the zombies start going to the car because uh, enemy AI is all server server side, at least in Unreal Engine. You know, it, it's easy to I see. Make so that basically, what he's saying here, he is playing on the server, and a client would be someone that he plays together with, right? He's the server, and the client is connecting to him, and he is throwing a bottle, which makes the car go off and uh, raise alarm, and then the enemies the zombies in this case go to the car and the client let's say his friend that's playing with him that is connecting to him only sees that the zombies move towards the car he doesn't hear the car ringing he doesn't see the bottle being thrown because that information is not being sent towards him hopefully by now you see how much you can really fake in these trailers and i'm pretty sure there's many more things that you can fake how about the weather system the snow, the rain, and it looks so good and realistic. But in Unreal Engine, this is literally just one click. Additionally, a lot of the weather in here is actually not made by myself. It's using a asset called Ultra Dynamic Sky, as you can tell here. And I can easily control all of the weather from this asset. I can set it to a blizzard. And you can see everything in here is set to that. I just authored all of the you know materials and stuff like that to utilize some of their functions to be able to run through the snow and all this kind of stuff. And it's not the most optimized thing in the world. If I were to show you what the complexity of this scene looks like with all of these new tools, of course, I didn't optimize anything, but you could tell there's a lot of red in here, which is not great. Uh, in fact, most of the game only ran at around 70 or 80 FPS, which is perfect because we only needed to run at 60 for the video. For me personally, as a game developer, I like to aim for 90, 100 FPS at the very least. 
there are trailers out there that even go for 30 fps because there's a lot of visual stuff going on and they kind of just bump up the numbers in fact i didn't even bump up the numbers i think most of the video was set on high rather than cinematic or epic because those were running at around 30 or 40 fps so the trailer actually could have looked better than what it did but but you can see this entire asset has everything there for me and i didn't really have to do much myself there's rain there's light rain, there's sandstorms, there's overcast, there's all this kind of stuff. And I didn't really have to do that. That was kind of like a plug and play. So if someone wanted to, they could really just go in and throw some shit together. With the, with enough experience, they could, I think, really have something that's extremely convincing. Hopefully by now it is clear that game development is more than just these trailers. And hopefully you can now go into future trailers, whatever you want to see, and take a little bit more of a let's say cautious approach because uh, the, for me myself i've always i've I, I didn't even talk about the assets you might have noticed obviously for me this is clear even let's say if these trailers or these games use assets from the unreal engine store do many of you really care about this if let's say a game like hell divers 2 uses assets from the unreal engine store if the gameplay is the same no you don't but people that have no experience will very likely use assets from the asset store. So it is obvious that this is something that you can look out for. But I'm asking you to look further. Go deeper. Because it runs deeper. And just... It is so sad to see how many times, and I've seen this so many times in the past, people get so excited. It's like, <laughs> whoa! These trailers, it's like, it's making me angry. It's making me really angry because I can see these things. I've seen these things for a long time. It's just a CGI trailer with some funny, or not even, not even funny, man. And it looks epic, and it's epic music playing, and it's like one second of gameplay, and now they learned, and they added in a little bit more gameplay. Just, just be more cautious. Just like Asmon Gold says in his video. Be a little bit more cautious, and maybe wait, because then maybe in the future... We will not have that many trailers and they will be more careful, like the day before. I should probably point out that they did not do a Kickstarter. Again, please. They didn't do a Kickstarter, they didn't ask for funding. They just delivered a terrible game because they had probably not enough experience. Because making such a game, especially MMORPGs, network games, multiplayer games, with that much graphic and that many systems that they've showcased, takes a long time. I'm a game developer myself. I've been developing on my game for about two years and a little bit longer. I've been, I've been developing it every single day, except for like three, four, five weeks over the past two years, every day. <laughs> and it's still not done. Stardew Valley took four years to make and it's a 2D game. Think about that. Next time you see a trailer. Game development is not an easy thing just because yep. I'm showing that, you know, one guy did all of this in like 300 hours doesn't mean that making an actual fully playable actual game takes 300 hours. It can yeah. take thousands, tens and thousands. Yeah, the, the point is that you can bring out something like this, but actually making the game is probably impossible if you are alone. Granted work on it. No, he can't finish it. That's the point. That's the whole point of this video. Yes. You're being sucked into it too. <laughs> You're being sucked into it too, bro. You have to resist. The whole point of the video is that he can't make such a game. <laughs> We're 12 minutes into the video, bro. And he's been talking about how he can't make such a game the entire time. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh man this is great oh i'm sorry bro i'm sorry but no he can't like the the reason why he can't uh why that it will never happen is because the systems that it would, he would need to make so that it actually works would take him, let's say, 10, 20 years to make. He could probably make it, but he would be, let's say he works on it full time, he quits his job, right? 
it would take him uh, too long, basically. It would take him too long. By the way, if you would like to see more, or if you would like to see some other content, like playing games, I played Palworld a little bit, check out these right here. Hmm? I make other types of content as well. I like talking about games and I like playing games. I'll see you all next time. Have a good one. Peace.